All right, we're going to work on setting up a water scene in 3D Max. And uh, at the end of this tutorial, we're going to have a boat inside of our water scene and have it uh, riding the waves up and down. So we're going to start with a plane. And I'm going to intentionally make our plane not a watercolor to start with. We want to make sure we have enough segments in our plane. So I'm going to start at 100 and 100. And in order to get our waves, we're just going to put a simple noise modifier on it for right now. And now with the water, the noise modifier, there's no real set numbers here, just whatever you think looks good. And we can always change that later. All right, we do want to make sure that we click on Animate Noise. What that's going to do is, as our slider moves, our waves are going to be created. Now, there's another way to animate this. If you come up here to Noise and you click on this checkbox and pull it down, under the Gizmo, if you click on Gizmo, you get this Move Tool set up. And I'm going to move it from the top so we can see what's going on. So I'm going to... I'm going to move it just on the x-axis here, which, which is this red arrow. And if you watch, if we start here and move to the right, so we start from the left and move to the right, it's actually moving our waves in a linear motion. And uh, that's a little bit different than the way they would move if we just actually animated the noise. So we're going to end up using this. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to click on, I'm going to move it all the way to the left. I'm going to click on Auto Key. I'm going to set a key here at zero. I'm going to move it to 100. I'm going to grab it, and I'm going to move it all the way across. And make sure you click Key. Now at that point, we should have waves actually rolling from left to right. And that way we can put our boat in there, and it can, it can ride these waves. All right, for this tutorial, I'm going to pull in a boat that I made, just a simple sailboat. Um, you can use a box, whatever you want to put in here. But I'm going to put a boat in here just to make it look a little more realistic. All right, we pull this in. I'm going to scale it down a little bit. And I'm going to put it right above the water. All right, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a dummy. So we're going to go over to Helpers, and the very first thing up here, Dummy, we're going to draw a dummy in here. And uh, just for reference, I'm going to try to get at this right over at our boat here. So now we need to take this dummy and we need to attach it to our water. So the way we're going to do that is come up to animation. We're going to go down to constraints and we're going to add an attachment constraint to the water. And now if you noticed our box is attached to the water so when we play our water our, our dummy is moving but it got attached to the very edge of our plane here. Uh, and we, wa we actually want it to be over here where our boat is. So the way we're going to fix that, we need to make sure that our slider is back to zero. And we're going to click on the set position. And if you just click and move, you can see that dummy moves around wherever we want. And it's important to make sure you look at this in your 2D views, your orthographic views, so that you can make sure that it's right where you want it. So now we're going to 
select our we gotta turn off our set position we're gonna select our boat and we're going to link our boat to our dummy just drag and drop that we have the boat movement now but right now it's just up and down and it's not left and right or starboard port for the boat uh, and, and when a boat is in water like this it's going to be shifting from side to side so we need to add a controller here to allow it to go back and forth left to right so we're going to start by coming up back up to our helpers we're going to make a point and we're going to put the point above the boat making sure again we look at this orthographic view so in order to do that um, we're going to select the boat and we're going to come up to animation we're going to go to rotation controllers and we're going to add a look at constraint to the point. Now our boat flipped up so we're going to have to adjust this. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to change this number right here. And we'll change that to 15. Now when we play that out, you can see we have the left and right movement as well as the up and down movement. Last thing we need to do with this is we need to put a material on it. So we're going to pull up our material editor. I'm going to use a slate material editor. I'll make sure that you have this show incompatible check by clicking this black arrow and come down here and show incompatible. We're going to scroll down to the bottom and we're going to pull up our liquids and I'm going to use this tropical blue. You can use any of these and you can always tweak these colors and stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and drop that onto our plane and I'm going to double click on this name to open up our settings because we'll, we'll have to set these. By default these are not necessarily these colors and um, when you render this it'll give you some spots and things if, if you leave these alone so before we render it out I'm gonna put a plane underneath our water just to give it a more realistic look to it and we want to make sure you drop that plane lower than our water and we'll make this a lot bigger and we'll color that for right now like a darker color alright so when we go to render this out in our render settings uh, we're gonna render this two different ways first I'm gonna render it using mineral ray and down here at the bottom under assign renderer we're going to do middle ray 2 just so we can see the difference in this so I'm going to go ahead and hit render and you can already see that this doesn't look realistic um, we've got some lighting issues and, and some other things going on here so we're going to cancel that and we're going to switch over to our eye ray and we're going to hit render on that and already you can see a big difference um, we actually have something that looks like water but now we're starting to see these spots that I was talking about earlier and the way we're going to fix that is we're going to come back to our material editor and we're going to change these glossy samples 
All right, I'm going to go ahead and set this. Right now it's 8 and 12. I'm going to set this down to 1. So we'll have 8 and 1. And uh, let's hit render and see what we got here. All right, we still have some of that spotting. So I'm going to drop that all the way down to 0. It looks like that's taken most of the spotting out of it.